G'day, I'm Scott from Aussie Boat Sales and I'm here to show you a good, easy, simple way of tying up your boat at a marina. Uh, a lot of people make the mistake of over tying, under tying. Um, this is for a floating marina. So on this particular boat, you'll see that we've crossed the lines over. That stops the boat from going in that direction and stops the boat from going in that direction and will protect the swim platform on the corner of the marina arm. It's also very important to make sure that how you thread the rope through the cleat uh, will not damage the boat or the cleat. A lot of people make the mistake of putting the rope through the wrong side of the cleat. That will put undue stress on the cleat and possibly tear it out of the boat. The correct way to do it is from this side. That will spread the load across the cleat and make sure that it won't damage the boat. Okay, now in a floating marina, if you're reversing in, one of the big problems is making sure that the boat will not hit the marina if there's a surge, a wave comes through, or in, you know, more wind. So the spring line is a very, very important line to keep the boat from going back. One of the big mistakes people make is they'll tie a rope from the spring cleat directly down to the marina. That's too short. The spring line must be a long line to allow for a little bit of stretch and a little bit of flex. Once again, if you tie up that close and the boat gets moved sideways suddenly, you could tear the cleat out of the boat or even break the cleat on the marina. Okay, so the correct technique for tying off the rope onto the marina cleat is to go around the cleat completely once. You do a figure of eight around the cleat and then you lock off. That will never pull undone. Do not allow for any type of tie off where the rope can move like that. You must lock it off in some form. If it rubs like that, ultimately the rope will break. Life is always better with a boat.